Hello viewers, how are you all? Today, I will present a travel blog. We visited Tirupati Balaji in Andhra Pradesh on 29th and 30th December 2019. I want to share the travel details with all of you as many people face difficulty in arranging Tirupati visit. I also did not find adequate videos which could have helped me regarding ticket availability. So I will share my experience and hope that many people will find it easy to travel to Tirupati. We went to Chennai from Guwahati airport. Our flight landed in Chennai at about 3 pm. From there, we took a rented car and went to Tirupati. It took about 3 hours. The journey was very good. The roads were very nice. We reached our hotel Fortune Kansas at about 7.30 pm at night. It is in Tirupati. At the hotel reception, we inquired about tickets and ticket counters nearby. We had tried for online special entry tickets of 300, per, 300 rupees per person, but tickets were not available. All online ticket quotas were filled up to 29 January 2020. But as we had decided to go to Tirupati on 29 December, we had no special entry tickets with us. At the hotel reception, we were told that offline special entry tickets were available in many ticket counters, which were provided by TTD. TTD is Tirumala Tirupati Devasthanam. The name of TTD website is ttdsevaonline.com, where you can collect information about Tirupati visit. We, we went to collect our special entry offline ticket from Srinivasam Complex, Tirupati which is a 5 minutes walk from our hotel Fortune Kansas. Srinivasam complex was also near the bus station. This ticket counter opens at 8 o'clock in the morning, but many people were waiting for special entry tickets, so we had to go to Srinivasam complex at about 3 am in the morning on 30 December 2019. When we reached the ticket counter, there was already a long queue of people waiting for tickets near the closed ticket counter. Srinivasam complex is a bus stand where general entry tickets and special entry tickets were available, but people had to make queue 3 to 4 hours before the ticket counter opens. As all ticket counters opened at around 8 a.m. in the morning, so it is better to reach Srinivasan complex 3 to 4 hours before time. At about 8 a.m. in the morning, the ticket counter opened and we got 3 special entry tickets for 300 rupees each. The tickets were allotted with a particular time slot. Our time slot was 3 p.m. on the same day. Almost 700 special entry tickets were issued on that day. Then we rushed to our hotel and got ready to visit Tirumala, which is a hillock where Sri Venkateswara Vadi Temple is located. We left our hotel at about 12.30 p.m. and took a rented car to go to Tirumala. We reached Tirumala at about 2 pm. There was also a security checkpoint before reaching Tirumala temple. We entered the temple and waited for half an hour. At 2.45 pm, we were allowed to enter and join the queue for special entry. It took about 45 minutes to have Balaji Darshan. Although there was a rush, but the people were very supportive. After Darshan, we came back, came and collected our free laddus, 
which were given with every ticket. As we had three tickets, we got six laddus as prasad. The laddus were very tasty and was made up of pure ghee. Then we went to Anna Prasadale and took rice, sambar, kheer, payasam, etc. We then stayed in the temple complex for another half an hour. At 6 pm in the evening, we sat in our rented car to come down to Tirupati. On the way, we also visited a Hanuman temple. We reached our hotel at 7.30 pm. The next day, we visited some other temples in Tirupati like Padmavati, Ammavadi, etc. Everybody had told us not to visit Tirupati as we did not get special entry tickets online and also due to New Year celebrations. There might be many pilgrims visiting the temples. But by God's grace, we decided to go and everything happened beyond our expectations. Dress code. The dress code for visiting Balaji temple is very strict. All men must wear kurta pajama, lungi shirt or formal shirt, formal pant. It must be a traditional dress but wearing jeans is not allowed. For women, the dress code is sari, salwar suit or any other traditional dress of India. Mobiles, leather belts and any other electronic devices are not allowed in the temple. Lockers are also available to put away extra things. The temple remained closed during solar eclipses and lunar eclipses. Thank you. I hope this will help you.